one of the requirements for a media PC is actually having ports to accept media. So I'm putting in two things that I got from Newegg. They're about 10 bucks each. I'm getting this all-in-one reader uh, by Rosewell. Uh, it supports HDHC uh, and most of the media cards that are out there and available. And I'm putting in this cheapy sound card. Now the reason I'm getting the sound card put in is because it has the SPDIF connection. It has the optical that I want. Uh, they make these with coax and with optical. I want the optical one, so that's what we're going to do. So now real fast, all I'm going to do is open this up and take out my component. Then we're going to open up the case. Okay, the case is ready to be opened. You can see here we are. Well, a couple of things we're going to do is we're just going to put the card in. It's a PCI card slot. So I'm going to put it in here. I have to take off this little component bracket. And for me right now, I'm just going to put it on the bottom one because I don't really care how it goes. So I will pull out my blank. Got my blank here. And I will put in my card. Again, you can see card is PCI. Drop it in there. And I plug it in. Now, since I'm doing this live and I don't really care, one of the things I'm going to do before I do this is I need to put in my Rosewill 3.5 inch uh, card reader. Now, you'll notice that this plugs into the USB board, excuse me, the, the USB port on the board. And since those are down on the bottom, I'm going to do that first and then shove this through. So, to do all of that, what we'll do is we're going to take off the case again with 546s and most of the other Dell. Uh, Dells of this type, you just unplug these or unclip these, and then this slides off. It's really, really cool setup. You can see here that I have a three and a half inch bay, so I will grab my screwdriver there and I will bend this out. It's got the little Phillips head in there, so you can bend it out. Just have to do this a couple of times. Or 13, 14, 15, etc. So that's done. Now what we do is we slide this in. If you can see that I'm in a rush, it's because I told my wife I would have everything put back together. So I'm putting this in. Make sure it's flush with your other drives. You can see I have my Blu-ray that I had done before. So I'm gonna put it in here. And I also have my screw holes ready to go on here. Now it came with screws. So all I'm going to do is put two of the screws in. You could probably put in four, but I don't wanna to have to mess with the other side of the case. So all I'm going to do is put that in and put this in. So again, you can see that it's very simple once you get the front cover off. Now your computer may be different, of course, uh, but that's why I like the Dells, because they're easy to put together. The CPUs change out, everything's really modular, and it's a great system. So now I've got this in here ready to go. I have the bay that's already listed, or excuse me, already shown here. I don't want to say listed all the time. That pops out. We've got this little blank in here, so all I have to do is push the blank out. And you can see that the blank pops out, so we are good to go with that. I put this back inside the unit. And there we are, as far as the way the front goes. You can see that everything fits nicely in there. Uh, let me zoom in and show you, it looks really, really nice. So everything is, everything is nice and everything is ready for that. So let's finish up with what we're doing. We have Blu-ray, we have DVD, and then we have three and a half inch with the USBs and the other stuff. So now we have those ready to go. Now I have my cable here. All I need to do is run my cable down through the bottom and I'm going to hook up to one of the free USB ports. Now, uh, the way the pin setup is, there's 10 pins here, and one of them is blocked off. And you'll notice on your board, you can do the same thing. So all I do is I plug it into the board down there, and I am ready to go. Now I put in my card. Get that lined up. This is probably the hardest part because of the way it lines up and because of the, the clamps on the bottom for a typical USB board, excuse me, for a typical board that we have here. 
and it's ready to go. I put the clamp back on the back. Again, this was always typically the hardest part. That's ready to go. I check all my wiring, make sure everything matches, make sure everything sets up as it is. And we are set up. And my last two screws. And I've now added $20 worth of parts to my media PC. Got this for $167 from Dell. I put in that quad processor from AMD, put in the Blu-ray, which is like 55 bucks plus tax of 60, and then these $20 worth of parts. And then I have my Media Center PC.